Matthew Perry, beloved for his role as Chandler Bing on, Friends, tragically passed away in October 2023 at just 54 years old. The cause, acute effects of ketamine, as confirmed by the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner. But the story doesn't end there. On August 15, authorities announced that multiple individuals have been charged in connection with his untimely death, including two doctors and Perry's personal assistant. Enter Jasmine Sanga, dubbed, the Ketamine Queen, by U.S. Attorney Martin Estrada, and Dr. Salvador Plascencia, the first two defendants in this shocking case. Sanga faces a laundry list of charges, conspiracy to distribute ketamine, maintaining a drug-involved premises, possession with intent to distribute methamphetamine, and five counts of ketamine distribution. Meanwhile, Dr. Plascencia is charged with conspiracy to distribute ketamine. But wait, there's more. Kenneth Iwamasa, Perry's assistant, along with Eric Fleming and Dr. Mark Chavez, have also been charged separately. Iwamasa has already pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distribute ketamine causing death, admitting to injecting Perry multiple times on the day he died, without any medical training. Yikes. Fleming and Chavez are also facing serious charges, with Fleming pleading guilty to conspiracy and distribution of ketamine resulting in death. During a press conference, Estrada revealed that the investigation uncovered a broad underground criminal network, responsible for supplying a large quantity of ketamine to Perry and others. It was also revealed that Perry had fallen back into addiction in fall 2023. Estrada stated, in the end, these defendants were more interested in profiting off Mr. Perry than caring for his well-being. Perry's death on October 28 was ruled an accidental overdose, with contributing factors including drowning and coronary artery disease. The LAPD began investigating in May, with the DIA and U.S. Postal Inspectors joining the effort. Perry had been undergoing ketamine infusion therapy and had openly discussed his struggles with addiction in his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. He wanted to share his story when he felt safe from the dark side of addiction, believing it could help others. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, please reach out to the SAMHSA helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. All the latest news, showbiz, lifestyle and sports updates, brought to you by our dedicated American team. Make sure to subscribe, like and share News Today channel on YouTube so you're not missing out.